2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Travellers Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and out on the course following our feature group is the delightful Henny Koyak. Hello, Henny. Hi, Luke and Rich. Looking forward to following these two players again as they reignite their rivalry. I have a feeling we'll be in for some more exciting golf as these two battle it out. Yeah, he's going to have some bullets coming his way throughout this entire matchup. Let's see if he can dodge them. Wow, that was just striped. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. <laughs> Nicely done. Time for the second shot into the first. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Outstanding approach shot. Got to like their chances from there. Well, that's a nice way to start, writing a little red number down on the scorecard at the first. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. The second, a short par four playing up the hill, just 345 yards. How aggressive do you want to be? Do you want to take driver out and try and get it up to the front edge, or are you going to lay it back with a long iron? That are the two thoughts that players must face. Second shot into a minuscule green with a putt bunker on the left-hand side that could be the meanest one on the golf course. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. This is on a great line. The putt drops, and that's back to back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Currently a couple under for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The players will face themselves with their first legitimate test at TPC River Highlands, the par four third. Dog leg from right to left. Just avoid those bunkers both right and left. And there's not a single one up there on that green. This green is fairly flat with runoffs on all sides of this green. It's a wonderful design. Oh, well played. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, that is brilliant. A bonus birdie. Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. Second shot here on the third.
Going with the pitching wedge here. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. This putt was about eight feet. Looking good so far. Yeah, it's a lovely putt to make for Booty. Take some pride in that one. This player is putting for fun. And as the scorecard suggests, heading up the leaderboard. The fourth hole at TPC River Highlands certainly asks for a longer shot, Rich. Danger here is leaving your tee shot out to the right in the trees and the bunker. If you hit it down the left-hand side, expect a much longer second shot. Ah, uh, great shot. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 175 yards. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Uh, it might be one club too many. Oh, that thing was like a tracer bullet right down the pipe. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's two strokes behind his rival this week. This is buckets. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. And that will take him to four under. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The par three fifth is no snack either, particularly at the distance of 230. That's its only defense here, Luke. The green is fairly flat, has a couple of bunkers up there surrounding it. But to be fair, at 230 yards, it's a pretty simple, straightforward, long par three. Going with the five wood. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. That's inside the range. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's happy, just came off a birdie. Oh, this looks pure. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The sixth is the first of our par fives and at 586 playing slightly downhill ridge. Players should be enticed to go for this green in two. Most players in this field will be looking to knock it on in two. Tee shots want to favor the right hand side to shorten up the hole ever so slightly. The second shot will be semi-blind taking it over some bunkers and some mounds to a green that runs from right to left. Bunker front left and a runoff area over on the right hand side. Shouldn't be too much of a bother for most of these players. Second shot here on the sixth. A big, bold play, and it almost paid off. Close to the surface. Let's see if they can get it up and down. It's an aggressive play, Luke. Like to see it on this par five. Oh, I thought that one was going in. And this putt to move into the top 20. Better than most. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will move him to six under par. He finds himself in a share of 15th position. 
And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The par four seventh, just under 450 yards in length, Rich. Two just accurate shots needed here. Just a straightaway drive and a straightaway second shot. We'll get it done eight days a week on this hole. The second shot, though, into a green that has two tiers on it. If you're not on the correct tier in two, you're going to face a difficult putt. That dog will hunt. Why don't we catch up with the V-man, Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. This looks to be heading to the green. Great shot into the seventh and a chance for birdie. Sitting at six under. Opting for the nine iron. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Trailing by six shots after that hole. I really like the eighth here at TPC River Highlands, a good par three. This is a strong par three. Water shouldn't come into play as it's some 15 yards short of the green. However, there's runoff areas both right and left that could cause some issues for these players. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Yeah, that was a safe play. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. It's on a great line. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. I will take that and a spot in the top 10 to boot. Currently eight under overall. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. The ninth is a par four, right on 400 yards, Rich, but recently players have been a little bit more aggressive off the tee. Players are trying to take all the bunkers in the fairway out of play by taking driver and hitting it over the right-hand one. From there, players will have a very simple second shot to a green that's fairly bland, Luke. There's just not much to it. This is a great birdie opportunity. And Henny, what's he looking at here? And from about 105 yards... Quality shot, that one. Ooh, this would be a good putt to make to move into the top five. Looking good. Well done. Take the birdie. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. Birdied their last hole. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Yeah, good bunker shot there. Nothing left for the par. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. And as we transition into the back nine, Rich, what are you seeing out there so far? Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. Well struck playing this shot from 120 yards. Four shots behind our leader. How close was that to going in the hole? 
Great shot. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This putt for a share of four. He's currently tied for fourth. Downhill par threes, Rich. Lots of fun to play, particularly when it's only a wedge. Yes, but be careful from the wind. This green is surrounded by large trees, and that wind can really swirl around this green. It's a good opportunity to make birdie, but bogeys might happen if you're not careful. What an amazing approach shot. I think their rival, Harold Varner III, has a worthy competitor this week. Good look at birdie here. Good looking putt. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? That's outstanding. Mark that down on the highlight reel. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Rich the 12th, a par four, measuring just over 400 yards. How do you play it? Grip it and rip it. Those fairway bunkers down the right-hand side, they're really not a big bother. So try and take those on as best you can. The further you drive it down there, your second shot becomes so much easier as this green is perched above you. Again, another good birdie opportunity here. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Second shot here on the 12th. <laughs> Nicely done. Good opportunity here to move into a tie for third. Right over the spot they were looking at. And nicely hold. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. Well, birdies would certainly be on the mind of the players when they stand on the tee at the par 5 13th bridge. But there are bogeys here as well if you're not careful. Don't get careless with this tee shot. Don't avoid the water on the right and try and hit it down the left-hand side because out of bounds comes in quickly, just left of those fairway bunkers. From the fairway, you have to decide where you want to go for it or lay it up out to the right. Any shots missed out to the right will leave a delicate chip to a green that runs away from the player towards the water. Good shot there. Here's a good chance to move to 14 under with this putt. Surely it's going to. 
And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. He'll have to work extra hard to get out of this one. They'll have to get their best bunker technique out here because this is nasty. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Let's head to the 14th, Rich. A short par four, but you've got to hit your tee shot up the hill. Up the hill, dog leg from right to left, but one of the most generous fairways on this golf course, if not the most generous. Anything up to the right-hand side will open up the second shot to the green that sits well below you. Any tee shots missed over to the left, however, you could have some tree issues. That's nicely done. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Oh, Rich, how good is that? Oh, beautiful little pitch shot down the hill. Thank you. Gets it to go. Great shot. Second shot here on the 14th hole. This one is chewing fiber. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Got to like their chances. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, well played. And after that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. TPC River Highlands has a number of gettable holes, but how fascinating is this drivable par 4 15th? This hole is feast or famine for most players. Any tee shot that is missed a little bit to the left will go chasing into the water. Any tee shots that are bailed out to the right now you've got a difficult proposition you're faced with. You have to hit a pitch shot, a delicate pitch shot, to a green that sits well above you, but also runs away from you towards the water. What a par four this is indeed. Just 10 feet to the cup here. This one's tracking. Just building upon his advantage, he keeps making the important plays. Currently three strokes up after that hole. The final par three at TPC River Highlands certainly brings a lot of elements into play. Multiple tiers on this green. If you find the right tier, you have a good Bernie opportunity. But if you hit a wayward shot, both right, left, long, or let's face it, short, you're in a bad spot.
And this one might need to get down a little. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's happy, just came off a birdie. A chance now from the bunker for an up and down. Oh, oh my, how about that for a par? Tough bunker shot, no bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. That almost went down. Big pass over coming up for this fella. Hey, that's a chance. There it is. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Well, this lake that is a real feature here in the closing holes of TPC River Highlands comes into play also off the tee at 17. The most intimidating shot on the golf course, the tee shot here at 17. Bail left, you could find the bunkers. And if you bail right, you better bring your waders. Handy effort, that one. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Oh, my! Right by the hole. Lining up the birdie putt here. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Currently in first position. The finishing hole at TPC River Highlands has gone through a few adjustments over the last handful of years, and it's also seen a very significant moment in the history of the PGA Tour. Plenty of fantastic moments here. Tee shot goes back up the hill, over a rise, semi-blind tee shot, find the fairway, and you're going to have an excellent look at the green and a possibility of making birdie. It was the sight of the lowest ever round recorded on the PGA Tour, a 58 if you don't mind. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. From around 120 yards here. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Oh, that's a great approach shot. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Seven feet to the cup. And with that putt, concludes this player's round.